So I'm at Cobblers Creek pump track. This is a bitumen pump track in Salisbury, Adelaide, just north of the city. Um, people ask me, how do you get quicker? How do you, what do I have to do to get quicker? I'm kind of stuck where I'm at. And I always ask the same thing. What's your, what are you weak at? Where are your weaknesses? And um, it's usually the jumping or corner speed. Everyone says jumping or cornering. Pump tracks, you can create jumps here. You can double the rollers and whatnot, but that's not really what it's for to me. I think it's more about building your cornering and your, your bike balance. So this little section here, a couple of tight corners. It's just two rollers and two either left-handers or right-handers, just U-turns. Uh, super tight, but excellent for getting your technique absolutely perfect because if you don't have your technique right, you're not going to get around these corners and be able to be able to pump out of them for speed. We got trail dog there. Sev loves it, and now I'm just going to pump a pump a few laps and try and work on those corners. So my left hand is a good. Uh, obviously need need improving. It's always improving, always trying to get better. But my right handers are a weakness, so you've got to address them. If you've got weaknesses, you have to address them. You have to be honest with yourself. Ask your friends. Ask your riding buddies. What do you think I'm not very good at, where am I slowest? And they'll tell you. you know, ask them to be honest with you. Corners jumping or maybe you're just you know, a little bit fearful or, or don't have a lot of confidence in yourself. Balance, balance is everything. Practice your balance, practice your riding and you'll be good. Manualing's another one. So we've got a group of rollers here. Rollers everywhere on this track, really. And uh, manualing into things or manualing out of things. It's just about getting balance and learning to be on the back wheel and pumping without both wheels on the ground, more or less. So practice your manuals. Get a firm hold of that rear brake. Make sure you, you know, make sure you're familiar with how much your brake comes on when you pull it. And you won't have any trouble, just get ready to pull that brake if you go too far. No big deal. You'll be alright, just practice, practice, practice. 